This is Access Houston on 97.9 The Box. Good Sunday morning. You're listening to Access Houston. I'm your host, KG Smooth, welcoming this morning to Vivacious Young Women. She is a photographer, a an activist, and an all-around great individual, ladies and gentlemen. Miss Angelica Dash, and from the Health Museum, the president and CEO, Melanie Johnson. Good morning. Good, good morning. Good morning. Angelica, tell us about your work. Uh, some people may not be familiar with you, so we want to get familiar with you. Yeah, um, I'm Angelica Das, uh, born and raised in Rio de Janeiro, based in Spain, visiting Houston yeah. with exhibition called Human Eye Work in Progress. Um, uh, this project uh, tried to discuss about uh, uh, this concept of color associated with race, black, red, yellow, uh, and white that are colors associated with race, but I really believe that they are not real. Mm. And uh, what I do is make portraits of volunteers. I portrait in 17 different countries. I portrait in white background, choose a square of 11 pixels from the nose, paint the background, and uh, name it as a Pantone uh, color that is an industrial palette. So let's get this straight. You choose these volunteers to photograph and then uh, you take, you paint the background? Uh, he, I don't paint them. Or, I paint or, the uh, background and I choose the color of the nose. Okay, the uh, the nose. Yes. <laughs> Because uh, basically what I wanted to show is that we are um, light chocolate, mm -hmm. dark brown, yes. uh, light pink, uh, yeah. uh, cinnamon, yeah. and uh, honey. We are not black and white right. treated in this like, separate diet. Right mm -hmm. like, like exactly. Absolutely. Yeah. Exactly. What I'm, I'm trying to mm, to talk with the, the, this work is that, of course, you see each image, each image as a unique human being, and each one is unique. Uh, but I really want to, to to find the things that really connect us. That is, be human. And when you saw the images, you saw that. We are kind of made of the same material, mm -hmm. and that's identical. And, and, and my treatment with all the images, exactly that, repetition, equality, uh, uh, all the images, they are created to really look and make like a kind of mirror in your, uh, in, in your imagination when you saw the, see the other. So how we see yourself, how we see the other. Maybe we have much more common things than different. Yes, you do. You're listening to Access Houston. We're talking to artist and activist and photographer Angelica Dash, along with Melanie Johnson from the Health Museum. Uh, Melanie, why did you all want to uh, display this exhibit? The Health Museum is about exploring what it means to be human inside yeah. and out. Um, there are lots of health disparities that are associated with race, believe it or not. And so... The exhibit, Human Eye, Work in Progress, is the kickoff, or the it sets the, the stage, and if you will, it sets the tone mm -hmm. for the conversations that we would like for Houstonians, the most diverse city in the United States, to have. Mm -hmm. And so we will be having speakers from May all the way till September when the exhibit closes to deal with a conversation of race and health, or just the conversation of commonalities versus differences. I'm so glad that you said that, Melanie. Uh, let's talk health and race for uh, a minute. I don't know if you all have seen um, the HBO film, The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks, and it stars Oprah Winfrey. Well, Oprah plays her, uh, Henrietta Lacks's daughter. Henrietta Lacks, for those who do not know, uh, was a young lady who back in the, I believe in the 50s, uh, she died of cervical cancer. And so the people over at John Hopkins, they abstracted her cells and come to find out that her cells would not die. They tried to kill them, and then they just kept reproducing and reproducing, hence the immortal life. And a lot of the medicines and vaccines that we have today were abstracted from Henrietta Lacks, and her family has not received a dime from any of the medical institutions or the pharmaceutical companies who have profited big money 
off of her cells. Yes, and, and yeah. absolutely. And in fact, didn't allow her family to know oh, no, that they used the immortal know. cells from Henrietta Lacks until about five years later. So to profit and to, um, you know, to benefit from an individual in that sense. But I think there's a, a deeper story that comes out of this. Oh, and, yes. and, all, and likewise, out of the Henrietta Lacks story, specifically for the exhibit Human Eye, is that um, there is no standardization. There is no one, um, there's no just black. Yes. There is just, there's right. no just white. You know, right. there are all these shades in between. And, uh, you know, there, there are 50, there are more than 50 shades yeah. of humanity. And so this exhibit actually explores all those, those shades. And um, when we're talking about Henrietta Lacks and we talk about that tragedy, basically, of misuse of someone's humanity. Yeah. Um, the story that can come out of this is that within a, hum a human being, there lies not only the problems, but also the solutions. Yes. You, like you mentioned, they came up with lots of um, antidotes yes. out of those immortal cells. And yes. so we want to explore what it means to be human inside and out at the Health Museum. Yes, so make sure you check out this exhibit. Melanie, you guys always have incredible exhibits at the Health Museum. So what was the inspiration behind uh, this exhibit? This came about because uh, I was born in Brazil in a very colorful family. And uh, even if I'm brown with a very curly hair, I am, I'm black, I'm white, I'm native Brazilian. And I would really love that these three parts of me being treated in equally at the same way. But the things is that inside home things function this way, but outside crossing the door is different because in some way the color of my skin, how I look like, make that people think that I his deserve a different treatment. Mm -hmm. So Literally, this is, is talking about my family, the, how uh, we treated everybody equally, even if we are completely different physically, and how I really care a lot of stereotypes associated with just uh, one color. And um, there is more anecdotes around it. Uh, I married a Spaniard, pink with green eyes, wow. and everybody started to ask me in that moment, what will be the color of your children? Right. That of course doesn't matter for me, but seems that there's something important for the others, oh, this, right. this kind of color. Yeah. And, yeah. and I remind in my childhood, uh, when you have the flush crayon, mm -hmm. and uh, it's a kind of pink, and we telling that this is skin mm -hmm. color, this is not mine. So I have all these kind of issues in my mind when I started to do this work. Because in some way, this discussion that I have with me inside my home, I want really to put that as a public discussion. So that's why in this project, I have 4,000 portraits. Mm -hmm. They are all making 17 different countries, 26 different cities. They are all available, available in the web, humanai.tumblr.com. They use it for different teachers around the world exactly to fight against this kind of issue, talk about a unique skin color, talking about uh, equality and identity. And, uh, and more or less this is like a kind of personal experience that I was talking about my family. And suddenly I discovered that I'm talking about a global family. Yeah. It's a unique family. And uh, one of the things that is most important for me that I always said that the most important information in my photos are the things that you can see. Mm -hmm. Because you can see the nationality of nobody. Right. You can see who is the poor of who is the rich. Yeah. You can see when I portrayed in favelas in Rio or when I portrayed in the headquarters of UNESCO. You can see who is a refugee. So mm, basically for me this is Mm, uh, what really connects us before all these tags that we put in, in ourselves as humans and uh, we, we, we see just that we are human beings. It's just flesh, hair, love. And, uh, and this is more or less a discussion that I want to make global. Yes, and please be a part of this exhibit. Humane, a work in progress at the Health Museum. It is running through... Uh, now through September 
so it'll be open all summer long and i can't wait to check this out absolutely you very much should it would be a pleasure melanie what do you hope that people will walk away from after leaving this exhibit as Angelica Das, the curator, said, basically the commonalities among humanity rather than the differences. And to begin those conversations, how much we have in common as people and, and how those inequities and disparities and um, imbalances don't matter at all. And just to complete, uh, of course we are different. And that's why each image is different. What we have to respect is this difference, embrace this difference, love that were different and equal at the same time. Yes, I love that because different does not mean deficient. Exactly. Absolutely. Exactly. That's so correct. different is something good. We, had, we, we can add value one to the other yes. being different. I can learn things from you. You can learn things from Absolutely. me exactly because we are different. But what we have it's in common, yes, yes, is respect, is an equal treatment, is deserve the same things. Absolutely. So please check out the exhibit, Humane, the work in progress running now through uh, September, the lovely Angela Kadash and the lovely Melanie Johnson, president and CEO of the Health Museum. Thank you all so much for coming through. Thank You're very you. welcome. Good Sunday morning. You're listening to Access Houston. I'm your host, KG Smooth, welcoming in the studio this morning. She's a first timer. Very interesting story of how we uh, linked up. But I want to present to you the founder of Dream Keepers, the lovely Danielle Williams. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you. So it's real interesting how we linked up and how she's on the show this morning. I get a random call from a a 415 number <laughs> and I'm thinking like okay either it's one of the many people in Houston that I've met or it's a bill collector or it's something she was like hi my name is Danielle I met your mom Carol um, she told me about you doing radio and I've got this organization and she went through and I was like oh wow like <laughs> thanks mommy for uh, you know helping your son out <laughs> putting, putting the plug out there and um, you know we talked and she told me about this incredible uh, organization and this pre Mother's Day brunch that she is having. So I'm glad that we linked up and that you are here. I am. Big shout out to moms for <laughs> the plug. I really appreciate it. So, um, Dream Keepers, as I told you, is a nonprofit and it's mm -hmm. geared towards empowering women to follow their dreams. But we also strongly emphasize on building more positive relationships with women. So to that extent, we focus on different connections that we can make, whether it's through our social media platform, mm -hmm. our community membership. We do offer a membership um, with tons of benefits. However, um, mainly we've been traveling. I've done an event, which is how I got connected with your mom is because I did an event in Indianapolis mm -hmm. and I met some women from Dayton. Mm -hmm. And that's when I went to help and support and network in Dayton. I bumped into your mom. And um, in Dayton, she Ohio, me. she's talking. Yes, yeah, absolutely. So um, to that extent, we've been doing events and seminars and workshops and panels. And I'm like, I need to tap into Houston. I've been here for almost two years now. So we've planned a pre Mother's Day brunch um, to help bring women, per, f mainly um, women that are mom entrepreneurs. OK, who are um, in business or jump starting their business or they just want to network with yeah. other women. So we are going to celebrate. We have a comedian. We have live music. We have um, JJ on the mic. Yeah, JJ, who um, used to be on this station on 97.9 The Box. She actually used to host uh -huh. this show. I'm over excited to celebrate with all of the mom, all of the women. Just come out and hang out with us. It's going to be a very, very awesome event. You're listening to Access Houston. We're talking to Danielle Williams, who's the founder of Dream Keeper. So uh, what was the inspiration behind Dream Keepers? I, I know you said, you know, just for women to build uh, with each other. Um, but what was the catalyst that made you want to start Dream Keepers? Was it, was it a certain situation that happened or some maybe you was watching one of these ratchet reality <laughs> shows and the women were just fighting too much and you were like, you know what, we need to change the way Absolutely. that we look. Or how, <laughs> Tell me the story. Good question. I would definitely have to say both. Um, one, in my main reason was just life. 
Mm -hmm. You know, just life taking its course. I was a business owner at a very young age. I had a daycare center for five years. And throughout that process, I was hurt. I felt defeated. I felt mm -hmm. that I didn't get the support from women that I needed. Mm -hmm. I didn't know where to tap into to get the resources. Or how do I gain exposure for my business? You know, I would hand people my card, mm -hmm. you know, but I didn't know how to build a relationship. So years later, um, I was just over women. I was over, you know, feeling like I needed to network with them. Mm -hmm. I was defeated. Mm -hmm. um, and then once I started modeling, I did some editorial modeling and I was asked to do a lot of different things, you know, whether it might be a video mm -hmm. or it might be some Instagram platforms. And I'm like, hold on, let me take a step back and really consider what message do I want to send. Yeah. And I'm like, this time around, you know, I want women to know that they can too follow their dreams, that I don't stand against me, stand with me. Mm -hmm. So I started Dream Keepers and I'm like, hey, let's support one another. You know, I'm following my dreams. You can too. Um, and I was just so over, you know, being a, I am a mother of three. I have a young girl and I'm, I don't want what's displayed, you know, mm -hmm. whether social media or television was put out there to be the reality of thinking that women have to throw shade and spill the tea and side women. I'm over it. Like we are so much beautiful when we're standing together, when yeah. we're supportive. And I did a tall, long story short, I did a vote on my Facebook and I'm like, Hey, mm -hmm. can everybody tell me, do you think happy girls are prettier? Not one person, not one guy. I would say everybody was like, absolutely. When women are more beautiful when they're together or it was just so much positive feedback. It, I'm like, I'm definitely, I definitely need to take this because mm -hmm. it's a need for it and help use my platform, whether it's modeling, being a mother, whatever entrepreneur, how can I give back and send this message? That's what's up. So I know that you probably were freaking over the moon <laughs> on January 21st when the women's march was happening <laughs> throughout the world i mean to be yeah. honest i mean it's it, it, it started here as the resistance to uh, the president that we have in office but it turned into this huge global thing and i was i was blown away i was like wow i yeah. had only heard of the march like through uh, social media and, and probably mm -hmm. a couple of news blurbs, like maybe uh, a day or two before uh, it was going to go down. Like I didn't know it was going to happen the day after uh, the inauguration. And then on that Saturday, me turning on the TV and watching the news and seeing how it was double the size of the inauguration, all women with their pink, you yes, know, yes. Uh, mm -hmm. vagina hats and all of that. And just <laughs> and, and to see it in Taking many different hand. cities and around the world. And mm -hmm. I was like, yo, this is this is big, a big movement. Women are definitely standing up. Women have standing together. Yes. You know, Danielle, if I can, I, I've, I've said this multiple times mm -hmm. publicly privately uh over these airways on this show mm -hmm. and i mean I, I, i've i've said i've said it before people were riding women's <laughs> peens like you know everybody's on the, the women's jobs the now yeah. because now it's this whole woman's way i've been on your way because i've been said and i've always said and i believe that it is true that women are the most powerful species on the planet amen to that with yes. everything that you go through i mean everything childbirth you Gators. know uh, yeah. uh 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 you know menstrual cycles uh the 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 bs that us men take y'all through like mm -hmm. all of that you Absolutely. all are the strongest species on the planet to me yeah and stronger together you all are are stronger together, and I, I, you know, I sometimes I think I, I'm like I think God is a woman. I think God is a <laughs> woman. I think God is a woman. Well, I absolutely feel like I'm unstoppable when I'm with my network of women. Mm -hmm. You know, um, all of our different gifts, all of our different talents, 
um, when we come together and when you have the support of them, it's like nothing else can be against me because guys love to see happy women, mm-hmm. women that are positive, women that are moving towards something. So yeah. If we're together, God before us, who can be against us? You, you are so right about that. So uh, save the date for Saturday, this coming Saturday. Uh, May the 13th for the Dream Keepers pre-Mother's Day brunch. There's going to be live music. They're going to have a stand-up comedian. There'll be networking. There will be brunch, of course. Uh, special guests will be uh, Jillian J.J. Simmons, formerly J.J. on the mic of 97.9 The Box. You got teachers. You got you got mompreneurs. Uh, Absolutely. Singers. And then I wanted to add as well that we do also have two other speakers Um it's going to be a Karen, and there's this young lady named Kiva Jones mm-hmm. with Queensland. Okay. She's starting an organization to just help initiate women what they speak, you know, being their I am, you know, okay. like watching their words and speaking certain things. Nice. Certain we need things. that because, you know, grammar is uh, <laughs> grammar is, 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 is killing a lot of lives out here in this social media world. People yeah. not using the right your or the right there, there. or the right no. Absolutely. Or the, you know what I'm saying? Where were y'all in English class that day when y'all was taught about the different theirs? And, but beyond the point, uh, where can people get their tickets, Danielle? We have on our social media where you can go and access our Eventbrite link our social media page is Dream Keepers Inc. Inc. And on there, you'll be able to see our event details and click the link to get your tickets on Eventbrite. The name of the event is Dream Keepers Pre Mother's Day Brunch. Um, we will also have tickets at the door. Okay, so get ready. It'll be at uh, where's it going to be? Babby's Party Hall. Oh, okay, on Bissonette. So oh. that's uh, 119.65 Bissonette. 119.65 Bissonette for the pre-Mother's Day brunch. They're calling all business-minded women to join uh, this movement. Good afternoon for some brunch. As I mentioned, there'll be live music. You'll hear from a panel of professionals on how to network, build, maintain a business, as well as balance motherhood and family, which is so hard to do. I mean, and and another big ups to y'all because y'all do so much, you know, Mm -hmm. full-time mom with a full-time job and going to school full-time. I'm like, where Mm -hmm. do you have the time? Absolutely. You make time. You absolutely make time. I've learned to incorporate my children in what it is that I do. I give them small tags so they know that it's a we thing. Mm-hmm. Um, and I involve them when I'm making decisions, whether it's planning. And as much as I can take them with me, I absolutely do. Oh, that's dope. That's dope. Yeah. So, so just finding balance. Yeah. Well, find that balance at the pre-Mother's Day brunch Saturday at a Fabi's party hall one nineteen sixty five Bissonette Suite one oh three. Uh, you'll have the opportunity at the brunch uh, to learn more about Dream Keepers and uh, the benefits of its membership to the communities. And then mothers just come out and celebrate and um, network and build together. Danielle, well, thank you. Danielle Williams, I said Danielle well. Danielle <laughs> Williams, thank you for coming through and sharing sure. this event. So we'll um, we'll see you. Saturday. Thank you so much for the opportunity. I look forward to seeing you guys there. No, thank you. And thank you for listening to Access Houston. We'll be back with more Access Houston on 97.9 The Box.